Registration accepted. You may now proceed through the historical displays in the orientation hall, or continue on to the examination. Settled systems. 
founded by the passengers of a colony ship that had left New Atlantis and disappeared four decades earlier, House Varun was a faction unlike any other. A theocracy dedicated wholly to the beliefs of its isolationist founder, Janan Varun. House Varun initially made overtures of peace towards the rest of the settled systems. They claimed their only intention was to spread the word of their god, the Great Serpent. But none could have guessed that this worship might take the form of a bloody war, the Serpent's Crusade. Galaxy's factions, none was more brutal than the recent colony war between the UC and the Freestar Collective. Set off by the unauthorized Freestar colonization of Vesta's Pride in 2308, a direct violation of the Narion Treaty, the colony war spread quickly across the galaxy. Both sides deployed every tool at their disposal. Armadas of warships, mechanized combat platforms, or mechs. Even bioengineered alien creatures. The infamous UC Xeno weapons. It was only in 2311 at the Battle of Cheyenne that the scales finally tipped. The Free Star Collective, utilizing their civilian fleet as a human shield, successfully crippled the superior United Colonies Navy. After their shocking victory against the galaxy's greatest navy, the Free Star Collective offered terms of peace, which the colonies, out of an interest in staving off any further human costs, accepted. The galaxy has been rebuilding ever since. Four of my last science papers have been on pteromorphs. This thing's like an artist's rendition, right? No animal can be this ugly in real life. In the midst of the colony war, a different kind of tragedy struck the UC city of Londinian. A newly constructed but critical supply center for the United Colonies war effort, Londinian found itself overrun by one of the galaxy's most mysterious predators. The Terramorph. A rare but pervasive threat to all human settled worlds, Terramorphs swept over the city, seemingly out of nowhere, on a scale never before seen in recorded history. Valiant efforts by the UC military slowed the onslaught, but the creatures proved unstoppable. Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the Londinian spaceport. Sealing off the city, the outbreak, and its citizenry from the galaxy at large. The tragedy of Londinian is mourned by the UC to this day. After the devastation wrought by the colony war, the UC and the Freestar Collective came together to ratify a treaty that became known as the Armistice. Both sides agreed to a vast reduction in standing forces and that Xeno weapons and mech warfare would be outlawed. All related research was sealed away, accessible only in cases of dire emergency. But the Collective had another demand that the active commanders of the UC military stand trial for their actions. The United Colonies, in the interest of peace and galactic security, agreed. In 2311, three United Colony senior officers were found guilty. Commander Henry Durant, General Indira Rastogi, and Fleet Admiral Francois Senon, known better 
as they victors. All were sentenced to death for their actions, bringing the colony war to a close and returning peace to the galaxy at long last.
outside and take a break. Reset. Prepare for your first opponent. First opponent. New targets active.
Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Or you're welcome to take another run at the simulation if you'd like to try and earn a better score. with the exam? Or did you have some questions you needed answered first? Me? Six? Seven years now? Was a recon squad commander in a former life, so it wasn't too big a jump bossing around foreign pilots instead. But Vanguard's been a quality assignment. Meet new people, judge them on a series of diverse criteria, get them out there helping people who need it. Mass is short for Military Administrative and Scientific Triumvirate. From here, the three co-equal divisions of the UC government work together to advance the cause of the colonies. Be that through mutual defense, political and diplomatic strength, or scientific discovery. Now, serving any of the UC's divisions grants citizenship, but scientific and admin positions in the UC tend to be real competitive. Understandable, most people would prefer to earn their citizenship behind a desk rather than in combat. Not something I'd ever choose for myself, but understandable. Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? I'll let the techs know you think so highly of their work, and make a note you've got prior combat experience. So, looking at the data... Checked out a few of the murals. Good. A test of preparation and thoroughness. Two traits the Vanguard values highly. Your physiological results are... eerily calm. Not a vital spike to be seen. You really know how to keep your cool exactly what the Navy's looking for in our recruits. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier 4, not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the Sim too. I can tell you that wave are some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only is five years. We've been hounding for some recruits with experience. Says here I can even offer you a bonus along with your signing advance. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? Fantastic. Then just follow me. Wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the skies. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. That is where we serve, 
beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities? And to uphold the values of the Vanguard, honor, loyalty, self-reliance, in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? I guess I'll take it. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is... comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plant on Tau Ceti 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come. So Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau Ceti 2 count on you? Oh, that's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra. <laughs>